Welcome back to Inside the Heat. We have established, as has Hassan, that he loves connecting with fans on social media, but he also loves to do it in person. He has embraced the Miami Heat mantra about serving the community right here in the place he calls home. Hassan, what are we having? Here, first of all, introduce us to the chef. That's number one. Oh, uh, this is Chef Rudy. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my guy. Thank you, Chef. You know, <laughs> you see he repping them heat colors right now, yeah. so, uh, <laughs> you know, Make he's sure sharp. Make sure everybody's in line. He's sharp, colors, he's right? sharp. Right now, we're talking too much. There it is, Tommy. Let's get it. Hold on, hold on, Thank you, Thank you Chef. Definitely. It's delicious, man. So, Hassan, you realize how important community activity is with the Miami Heat, your three seasons here. Has there been a particular event that either you always look forward to or a particular one that you really enjoyed that stood out when you're out in the community? Just everything with the season ticket holders, you yeah. know? Um, just because, you know, they're spending hard-earned money to watch you play every day. And, um, you know, I, I feel like it's good to see them off the court and um, let them get to know you a little better. Oh, watch that line. There was a unique event that happened earlier in the season. It was uh, the opening, the debut of the TSO Ticket Center at American Airlines Arena. I was getting my ticket master on that day, so so it was a great experience for me uh, getting to interact with the fans that day. There you go. Have a great day. What, what are some of the best reactions that you get from young people? You no, know, I think kids is um, you know, they just they just wow. You know, they cause they always see you on TV, and um, some kids don't get to see you in person. So when they see you in person, it's like. Oh, my God. Like, they so excited. I mean, they get to see their most favorite player. And, like, for somebody that they see on TV, they can finally interact with. So that's great. Yeah. Uh, the joy that it brings to these kids' faces, you know, and to be able to be with an NBA star, it's, it's an amazing experience. Oh, what I just experienced was a dream come true. Play with a Hassan Whitehead from the Miami Heat. One of the things that is personal to you as it pertains to community outreach is helping families who have young people with autism. Mm -hmm. Your stepbrother, he has autism himself, and your stepmother and your dad have come together to put together uh, Nason's place. I wanted to do something besides sit back and say, why don't we have these things for my son and other families? And that's why we decided to embark on the journey to start Nissan's Voice. I think it's really important. You know, I, um, I can really use my platform to let people know and um, do anything I can positive, you know, and uh, bring awareness to it. We understand how close the son is, you know, to his situation with his stepbrother. And so I think this is a nice event to sort of get it started for him. You know, trying to find more research to uh, to make it applicable to what has to be done. His son's involvement in the Miami community took on a deeper meaning when he surprised Devin Gancios at his high school graduation, a young man battling Hodgkin's lymphoma. Today I'm here to surprise Devin, and I'm here to just show the support and just show that he cares about him and just everything he's been through and all the perseverance he went through in his life. Uh, how does it feel knowing that you're in a position of just spending time with someone and how important that is to them and how it can even change the way they're feeling or the way that they look at the world? Hey, Darren, how you doing, man? Good, and you? It's, it's a humbling experience. You know, at first I didn't, um, you know, I didn't, I don't think I realized how big of a deal it was until, um, you know, I really seen how it was touching people alive and um, touching their hearts. I wanted to thank Mr. Patricio Mendez, his teacher from eighth grade, and Dr. Montagu, everybody that put this together. <laughs> it means the world. Well, it's already one of the biggest days in my life, and then to have one of my favorite players right here it makes it even more special. Man, it's, it's, it's an honor, you know, when somebody really say they're your favorite player, you know, it really pays off, you know, and, um, you know, it's just, it's just humbling. Knowing the things that you've had to overcome, the adversity you have, you, you've been able to overcome, how important is it to try to help people with their adversity to you? Everybody got adversities in their life. Like that, just hold it, hold it. From ups and downs, rather if, if, if it's a job you want or if something not going your way, just stay with it, don't give up, you know? And I feel like my story can relate to a lot of people's lives.
Welcome back to Inside the Heat. After the dealing was done to resign with Miami, it was time to get to work for Hassan Whiteside. First stop, Las Vegas. Meet up with the Summer League team, do some bonding. Then off to the Drew League in Los Angeles, where a lot of pro players go out to work on their game in the summertime. Once all the work was done, then it was taken to the next level. Get the heat work done back in the place where he calls home, Miami. Clearly, by all the muscles that you have popping off your body, uh, you spent a lot of time this summer in the gym. What was yeah. the chief motivator for you to get in there? Um, let's just get better, become a better player, you know, a better teammate, a better um, everything, pretty much. Hassan's very driven. Um, whether he expresses it with his words or not, he's always coming in, putting in the work, staying late, watching film with, with um, Coach Howard. What is it that is in you that says, I need to do more? I just always felt like I was just born with the ambition and a work ethic, of just, of just more, just more, just pushing and, and working for your goals. That's it, H, that's it! He's putting hard work every day. This is an example that the guy who just signed a big deal, and he's not just sitting back home, but he's working on his game. The Heat do not let up with their effort, but you really got to like about this team. Them guys, man, I love these guys, man. They care about winning. I go to war with these guys any day. What is it about this particular group of guys that makes you want to fight for them and with them? Um, just because a lot of them got like a chip on their shoulder, you know, you got you got guys that came from the D League. It's just a variety of those kind of guys with edges. Reed hammers it down from James Johnson. Tony, it's a brand new team for Miami, but the chemistry and the unselfishness is unmistakable. It's something in these guys that hunger for 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 just getting better every day. With the success and improvement of the team has come the success and improvement of Hassan Whiteside. The big man is dominating this season, reaching a double-double nearly every night he steps on the court. The great wall of Whiteside with terrific timing. But there's one night that stands out. Hassan's first 30-20 game against the Philadelphia 76ers. Rebound, there's Whiteside. 30 points, 20 rebounds. That's a grown man double-double. This marks only the ninth time the Heat has seen that stat. The last time was during the 2006 playoffs by Hall of Famer and Heat legend Shaquille O'Neal. I didn't realize the stats until um, I think Coach was just like, all right, you, you're done for the fourth quarter. I looked up, I was like, oh, wow. Right at the top of the list for you, rebounding. That's the stat where you just blow the, the box out all the time. Is there an art to the way that you do it? I think people just think because you're tall, you're supposed to grab a bunch of rebounds, but um, a lot of people don't realize the guy I'm playing against is my height also. So um, it takes a lot of energy, effort, balance, and um, different techniques. Are you a clear mind guy, or is there stuff going through your head? First thing, I, I, I look for um, the position where I'm at on the court. Second thing is um, I'm looking at the flight of the ball. And the third thing is is just, just trying to jump towards the ball. Right side, what a rebound, what a putback. That man is carrying Miami. In addition to being a defensive force, Hassan has proven his versatility and skill with some explosive offensive plays this season. Got another one! Oh my, a crusher for Whiteside! I always say, when you're a center, I feel like you should shoot over 50% for the season. That's pretty much something I take pride in. Hassan has an opportunity uh, to make teams adjust to us um, because he's a power presence uh, in the paint, right at the rim. He's a game changer. Uh, he's a guy that cleans up your mistakes <laughs> on the defensive end, offensively as well. He's somebody that makes the game so much easier for his teammates. Here's Waiters with a burst. Whiteside on the follow. Whiteside, look out below. Aside from numbers, Hassan recognizes the importance of his role as a leader on the team. His leadership extends especially to fellow big man Willie Reed, but he still seeks the direction and guidance of Heat legend Alonzo Mourning. He just be like, man, I want you to get every rebound, big fella, and block every shot, everything, just pretty much putting in the work, and um, he always asks for more and more. He's proven that uh, he can put up big numbers. He's proven that he can earn a, a, a big contract, uh, and it's deserved. So now he can focus on winning. Goal setting wise, what do you want for yourself for the rest of the season? We still think championship, man. You know, that's what we always, we got to um, get in the playoffs first and then take things from there and um, go, go as deep as possible. You're in this place with the team now where there's belief that there can be more. 
You have more here, this beautiful house, this beautiful city. What's most rewarding about all of this? That I'm doing what I love. You know, regardless of um, win, lose, or draw, you know, um, every day I go into work, you know, this is what I love, you know, and everybody can't say that. Hassan Whiteside is growing as a player in every game and every season for the Miami Heat. The double-double machine is called upon to put up big numbers in every single contest. As he emerges in that area, he's also rising as a leader for his teammates and as a citizen in our community. Thank you so very much for watching this edition of Inside the Heat. I am Jason Jackson. I got distracted Here we go. Right by there. nothing whatsoever. Captain America. It's like a resort coming over here, man. A resort? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hungry. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm going to go ride a manatee. You have the most powerful koi fish in the history of the world. <laughs> oh. This one?